This is a College Board AP Chemistry Free Response question, year 1984, question number three. I started off by highlighting important information and data, which is something that you should do before answering any free response question. For part A, you will need to calculate the standard heat of formation for butyric acid at 25 degrees Celsius. For this, you're going to want to start off by writing your target equation, which is seen here. Make sure you balance your equation. It comes out to be 4C plus 4H2 plus O2 yields C3H7COOH. You're then going to want to write the heat of formation equations for equations that can be used to manipulate to reach your target equation. So your first one is going to be H2 plus 1 half O2 yields H2O. Your second will be CO2, C plus O2 yields CO2. And your third equation will actually be this equation here. But since you want the butyric acid on the product side, you're going to flip that equation. So it becomes 4CO2 plus 4H2O yields C3H7COOH plus 5O2. You're going to want to pay attention to these coefficients of your target equation as they will help you later in the question. Now you're going to come to the middle column of the data table given above and look for the values of the standard heat of formation that correspond with some of your formation equations. For the formation of H2O, the value is negative 393.5, but since your H2 is quadrupled here, you must also quadruple the value here. Your value for CO2 is negative 285.85. This must also be quadrupled. Your last value is given here, and it's given as a negative. But notice I have it here as a positive. That is because you flipped the equation when you first wrote it to make sure that the butyric acid is on the product side. So you must also flip the sign. After this, you will add up these totals and you come to your final answer for part A of negative 533.9 kilojoules per mole. Part B is to write a correctly balanced equation for the formation of butyric acid from its elements. You actually already did this for your target equation of part A. So you will just copy this down again for part B. For part C, you will be calculating the standard entropy change for the formation of butyric acid at 25 degrees Celsius. The equation for standard entropy for standard entropy change is the absolute entropy of the products minus the absolute entropy of the re reactants as seen in this equation. When you plug in these values it'll look like 226.3 by the way these values are coming from the third column in the data table given to you. So it will be 226.3 minus 4 times 5.69 minus 4 times 130.6 minus 205 and your units will be joules per Kelvin. Your answer for your final answer for part C is negative 523.9 joules per kelvin. For part D, you must calculate the standard free energy of formation for butyric acid at 25 degrees Celsius. The equation for standard free energy or Gibbs free energy is seen here. But first you must calculate 
the standard heat of combustion of butyric acid to plug in for delta H. That calculation is pictured here. That comes out to be negative 532.49 kilojoules, which you will plug in for the delta H. From this, you will subtract 298, which is the 25 degrees Celsius, converted into Kelvin, multiplied by negative 0.524, which is the value you calculated in part C, but instead of in joules, it's converted to kilojoules. <laughs> You'll perform the calculation as the equation is seen there, and your answer will come to be 376.34 kilojoules. And that wraps up the question.